We did the first ever public database of police union contracts and use of force policies. And use of force policies are the rules that allow people, to, the, the police, to use force up to deadly force. And there are things that like are wonky. So in New York City, uh, chokeholds are banned. Eric Garner got killed. You saw the video. The NYPD said that Eric Garner was not put in a chokehold. He was put in a stranglehold. And strangleholds are not banned in New York City. What is the difference? A chokehold restricts your airway, and a stranglehold re restricts like an artery. And you're like, the difference is like one little hair of your arm, right? Like that actually is sort of shady. There are other cities where you can shoot into moving vehicles. You're like, you know, there are very few circumstances where like shooting into a moving vehicle makes sense. You kill somebody who's driving in the car, you know, it doesn't just stop because they died. Like people's feet tense up and like they just keep going into crowds. Like that actually, there are all these things that we wanted to research. You know, there are rules that, that we think are good that require officers to give a warning before they draw their gun. You know, we even advocate for an officer have to report every time they draw their gun because like you shouldn't be just like drawing, every time you draw your gun, it should be like a big deal because like, you shouldn't be just walking through the neighborhood being like, put your hands up. Like, that's wild, you know? So there are a lot of things that we didn't even know were issues until we did this big research. Yeah, It's called Campaign Zero, right? The Campaign database Zero. that you put together. And yep. it was looking at, because before this, there was no record of police fatalities, right? So there were some incredible databases that existed before we made this big one. So Kill by Police and Fatal Encounters were the two that, they were, yeah. that like did a lot of really good work. Um, and most people know the Washington Post database. The challenge with the Post database, which is probably the most well-known publicly, is it only includes on-duty killings that use guns. So say, for example, an officer goes home and shoots his wife, that's not included because it was off duty. Say an officer is on duty and runs somebody over with their car, not included, right? So we would say that like, you know, those things should be in the database. Eric Garner is not in the database because Eric Garner wasn't killed with a gun, right? And we would say that we should talk about all forms of violence, not just ones that, that, that use guns. But we wanted to make this database because there were so many holes in the data. And the, the wildest thing is if you get killed in this country by an officer and it's not reported in a newspaper, then you don't exist in the data set. The federal government does not collect the data. So we can tell you the rainfall in Missouri in 1830, but can't tell you how many people got killed last year or last month. There are whole years where the state of Florida has reported zero killings by police. We know that's not true, right? Like, that's just like, look at the news, and you know that's not true. So I'm hopeful that the federal government soon will do something. Obama was interested, like, he had pushed the DOJ to start doing it, but in this administration, you know, we're just trying to, this is like, the federal government exists by, like, tape at this point, so...